Hi there, welcome to this quick tutorial on Let's Play Golf, a PowerPoint resource from Tutor to You. It's a straightforward on screen multi choice quiz, but with a twist. Students are allowed to give more than one possible answer. Before we start, let me just show you this slide here, which is the print off for your students. So print one of these off for each student, but then separate your class into several teams. They'll note there that they're going to be asked nine different questions and they're going to get a score per hole, if you like, score per question. OK, imagine that you've given a worksheet out to each of the students. They're in their teams as well and they're ready to answer questions. I've got a quick reminder of the scoring mechanism on the screen. They're meant to reflect a sort of golf type score so a score under par is a positive thing if you like even though it says minus and a score above zero above par is not such a good thing as it would be in golf so they're going to be presented with a question four possible answers and they have a choice if they're absolutely certain they know the answer they'll just ring the one that they think is correct if they're not quite so sure they'll ring two of them if they're very uncertain they'll ring three they're not allowed to ring all four I'm afraid and then the scoring mechanism reflects whether they've got the answer correct, one of their answers is correct, or whether it's incorrect. So let's show you on screen itself. Let's click on the start button and the first question arrives. Here we go. Question one. There's your question there. Four possible answers. So the students have sat down. They've only got the time it takes for the ball to travel across the screen and fall down into the hole to make their decision. They're going to fill in their sheet, tear off their answer to question number one, and they're going to have either ringed one, two or three, A, B and C for example, and then hand that to you. OK, when all of the teams have done that, you as a teacher can then reveal the, score, the actual correct answer. And there we go, it was answer C in this case. OK, so we've done question one, we've got our little tickets in from each of the teams. Let's imagine we've got three teams playing in this game. We're going to click on team one and let's imagine they just rang one answer and they got that correct and there's their score. Imagine that team two though they put a little ring around two answers but still got that correct. There's their score. If team three put a ring around two answers as well but actually got it wrong there's their score and then we can move on to question two. OK, we keep doing that for all nine questions, entering the score in at the end of each of the questions, and then hopefully by the end of all nine rounds, you've got a winning team. OK, last thing to show you, here's a slide in the middle of the PowerPoint resource showing you a table. There's the questions that the teacher can input, then they put in a correct answer for that question, and then three incorrect answers. The PowerPoint resource alternates the correct and incorrect answers around so that they always randomly turn up A, B, C or D. The teacher can change those questions and answers to whatever they want them to be. That is Let's Play Golf. I hope you enjoy the game. 